Hey, pretty. Gotta say, I like what I'm seeing up here. <laughs> Don't look so scared. I'm not gonna hurt you. What are you, six foot? I'm barely... I might be four foot. I don't know. I haven't measured myself in a long time. But look at you, all those muscles. Mm, where I come from, they like to call you a beefcake. <laughs> oh, come on now. The green skin, the short frame. You gotta know, I'm a goblin. I'm not a dwarf. Dwarfs don't look like this. They're kind of ugly. Me, though. <laughs> Play your cards right and you can come right on home with me, darling. <laughs> Oh, Lord have mercy. Yeah, I followed you up here. Nothing wrong with that, no? If you want something, well, my people say you gotta go get it. And I want you. In fact, I have a little present for you. Oh, listen here. Don't play coy, okay? It's a present. Isn't that sort of present? You see, I'm a fortune teller. You don't believe in that stuff, really. Interesting. Well, they all say that until I tell them certain things. I actually already saw how this is all going to play out. So uh, that's why I'm pretty confident because I like the way it ends. You see, you're going to end up with your pants off. You're going to end up fairly sleepy. And you're also going to trip over that line right there. See, they oh. Aren't you glad I was standing right here in order to catch you, you clumsy? Oh, look at those eyes. Oh, aren't you a tall drink of water and mm, mama's thirsty? <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, your pants off. You're going to end up tonight with those pants right off. Don't worry. I'm not going to force them. You're going to do it all by yourself. You're going to want to. Well, no, it's not going to start raining. If it's going to be raining and you're going to take your pants off, you would think you'd take all of your clothes off, which I'm not opposed to, darling. I love to see a nice and muscular body glistening, nice and wet. It makes some other things run like the river, baby. <laughs> Thinking about it now, I might need to change my pants. So, about that fortune, go ahead, ask me any question you like. I can predict with about, I'd say, 80% accuracy. The other 20% isn't wrong. It's just a little hazy. Really? What is, what's your bend in question? Is it about work? You love life? Because let me tell you what I'd like to love all over. Work. Of course, it's work. It's always work with you types. Super successful with your fancy cars and everything. Okay, cool. Check it. What I'm seeing... Well, sweetie, I have to hold your hand. Your nice, firm, hard, supple hand. Mm -mm. I just want to mm, eat it. Mm. Is that weird? Sucking on your finger. Okay. Well, don't worry. Getting your taste in my mouth helps me make sure that extra 20% isn't so fuzzy. So uh, consider yourself blessed. Looking in your hand. Um, well... It does look like uh, you're going to have a bit of a change of career here soon. Is that something you're looking forward to? It's not exactly something that a lot of people are super excited about. Not going to lie. But looks like you're going to have a change of venue as well. It doesn't look like you're going to be living here much longer. It's great because these city lights are way too bright. I prefer it in the forest. It's quiet. You kick back, relax, listen to the sounds of crickets at night while you eat your caterpillars. What do you eat? Steak? Eh, bland. Okay, so <laughs> back to more present issues. I see that you are going to also be very successful in this new venture and this new venue. You're going to love it. Uh, looks like that there's a really pretty significant other that's going to pop up for you. Mm hmm. Nice looking, nice indeed. You're going to fall head over heels in love and actually that's going to be the catalyst for all of these changes. Actually going to be quite pivotal to you, really. All right, well, there you go, Chappie. I have uh, given you all of the good news that's coming. Well, I shouldn't say all. I did hold back on a little bit of it. But before you get the best part, payment's in order. 
Oh, come on. You can't get such good news. I mean, if now you know if an opportunity pops up for you to switch venues and jobs at the same time, and it's over a really nice piece of ass, you should absolutely jump on it. You need to pay me for that, buddy. Otherwise, you could be stuck here miserable. You hate your job. I've seen you. Look at those eyes. You want to change, don't you? Come on now. Don't play a player. Go ahead. Go with it. What you want, darling. <laughs> well, if I don't need people money. If I want something, I can go get it. But uh, what I do want is a kiss from you. And come on now. Bring that dome over here and give me a little bit of neck. I love the absolute beauty of that hair of yours. Mm, you are going to make some pretty babies. And I would like to get started on the... Mm. 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 <laughs> oh, you fool, you don't know. Humans kissing goblins. <sighs> Means that I get to do really whatever I want to. You look at you all knocked out. Oh, and that sweet, sweet body. Well, <clears throat> oh, there we go. All right, back to my little... Well, <laughs> hobbit hole is what you'd probably call it. Come on, buddy. Oh, you're so big. But it's okay. Because that change of venue's coming right about now. That hottie is me. And look, just like I predicted, your pants are falling off as I carry you. Oh, I guess I could pull them up for you, but yeah. Oh, I love the view. Your nice, delicious dairy air. Mm. All right get you through here oh i feel so bad whenever i take someone so cute through these sewers but we can't have anybody seeing where you went to pal okay can't wait to get you back oh oh no you're waking up hi buddy hi yeah swept you off your feet didn't i really <laughs> Where are we going? Hey, don't, mm -mm, mm, don't struggle. I might be about half your height, but I am absolutely three times stronger than you. And well, honey, the payment, you're coming home with me. As I said, you're switching jobs. There's plenty of things for you to do out in the woods, you know? There's, yeah. Uh, what could a human do out in the woods? Don't worry, I got all kinds of potions. We can turn you into whatever you want. I know this really awesome fey clan that are out in the, what well, you guys call the Ranger Forest, out in the Inuate. Mm hmm. There's this awesome group of elves. Oh my God, stop struggling. It's not going to help you. Calm down. This isn't the worst thing that could happen. Jesus. Yeah, we're going to go get you into Inuate. We'll turn you into whatever. You Whatever you desire. We're going to live life together, me and you. You're too cute, honestly. You're too cute. And I saw the miserable look in your eyes when you were down by the river, walking through the meadows and the safe part of the forest. You didn't go too far. You're smart. You're a smart one, which told me a lot about you. But the wish that you made, the water, was a magical waters. And, well, they sent me to come get you. And, honestly, I made a wish, too. I was there looking for love, and now I've got you and your hot little body. <laughs> well, why, yes, I do work out quite often. Single goblin living alone. Gotta do everything. Why, well, thank you. I do happen to like my hair. If you ever want to pull it, <laughs> let me know. I can give you some pet names, Daddy. <laughs> Mm, that sounds lovely, but no, sadly, you're going to be the one in chains for a bit. I normally like it the other way around. I've got a couple of whips, all kinds of toys. You humans, you'll really know how to get to those pleasure zones, if you know what I'm talking about. Huh. Mm. Here we go. Ah, perfect. See, look, isn't it cute here? <laughs> absolutely wonderful you got a sweet bed tell me that's not comfortable it is it absolutely is all right now 
What are those? Well, I, I use some fairy powder. You will not be able to leave the interior of this wonderful abode. Oh, we're cut into a, a side of a hill. It's absolutely gorgeous. Well, we're not too far into the Inu Yata, but, you know, you need to get used to saying that. Inu Yata. Inu Yata. There you go. You guys call it the Ranger Force. Absolutely stupid name, but what do we expect out of humans? So, here you go. Inu Yata. That's where you live now. You're going to stay here, and once you really get to sit down, seriously, the food's over there. I even brought human food for you. You don't even have to get used to my amazing cuisine yet. I'm going to make everything as even for you, as comfortable for you for the next couple of months until you get settled in into everything. Then we're going to go to the Fae and they're going to transform you. Indeed, and that of the, oh, you found my chest already. You are an explorative little one. Yeah, look at that. I went to one of those uh, <laughs> adult stores that you guys have down there, and uh, I found a couple little things that they're going to be of interest to me. They've already been of interest to me, but I think it'd be of interest to both of us soon over there, don't you think? Mm. I'm going to say, look at that there. I don't have a tail, but you can pin one on me. I'm sure there's a hole you could stick it in, no? <laughs> Come on now. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me, tell me, tell me that this doesn't feel great. You were stressed out there. You even said it at the river. See? Exactly. You don't like your co-workers. You hate your boss. You know even if you go further, you're going to hate the next boss too. You already met him. He's a... F yeah, that word. There you go. That's exactly what you said down there at the river. So, I'm going to make your life better. And make my life better. I've been looking for someone exactly like you. And your last little chippy. You were talking about her down by the river, too. She sounds like a raven. See you next Tuesday. I wouldn't use such a wonderful word on such a terrible person. Speaking of a see you next Tuesday, if you want to uh, <laughs> see my tonight, it doesn't have to be next tomorrow night, if you get what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, you are playing so coy, but don't worry. I'm going to wear you down, darling. Mm -hmm. it, so as I was saying, again, you're probably not going to fit in here being a human. Could we start teaching you some dark arts and turn you into a wizard or mage or something? Perhaps. But it's a lot easier if the Fae just actually turn you into something else you would rather be. Come on, all humans want to be a magical creature. And out here, you can be whatever you want. You just pick one. You just be it. It's great. The Fae are awesome like that. Yeah. They want more magical creatures out there so that, you know... Humans don't get to take over all the space. In fact, most of us were. I wasn't, no, but my parents both were. They decided to be goblins, and then they had a little goblin me. And if I decided to stop being a goblin, I could take a potion, turn myself into a beautiful woman, any point in time. Isn't that right? Well, no, you can permanently stay that way. Though, if you want to permanently stay this way, don't worry, I'll, uh... I can work around it. I like to climb a tree, if you know what I mean, and bounce on a nice hard branch. <laughs> oh, you think I'm kidding. You think I'm toying with you. But darling, I really, really, really desire you. But I'm not going to touch you. I know it's already hmm, several consent violations abducting you on your rooftop. I understand. I know that this is a complete change but had i just talked to you over time you wouldn't have come here nothing would have stopped you you needed an abrupt change that you weren't going to do by yourself and that's why i'm here <laughs> olga olga yeah that's what humans call me i don't like that name at all though it's disgusting it just sounds like a goblin name no my parents call me beatrice but again that's very human sounding too i can't really find something that fits me that's goblin but also sounds 
human to go after my human lineage, if you know what I mean. Indeed. The accent, <laughs> it goes back and forth. My one, my dad was from New York, which is so cliche of a goblin. And then my mother was Australian. So it goes sometimes to small Australian worlds. I say wheelie bin, don't you? Anywho, so yeah, <laughs> it makes for a really cross winds of accents if you catch what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, we're going to have some fun together. We'll have some wholesome fun. In the meantime, but as soon as you want me to go and wet my whistle, just tell me and I'll dive right into those waters. Ah, I can tell you're pretty sleepy. That conk on your head was pretty hard. Don't worry, you don't have a concussion. That's why I did the goblin's kiss to knock you out first. It's not my fault you were struggling so hard. But I got some nice headache medicine here and I'm going to monitor you all night. So you're going to be perfectly fine. And if anything really crazy happens, don't worry. I got a straight line to the Fae. They'll be here in a jiff. Why don't you lay down and go to sleep, darling? See you in the morning. Hey, guys. So this was a uh, Yandere-esque lewd goblin that uh, was suggested. Uh, it, I guess Yandere is a goblin was the one that was more suggested but i figured part two is when we're gonna see more of the yandere having to go back and get some of his stuff that he really really wants finding out more about him maybe even some of the fey creatures falling in love with him and our sweet little olga slash beatrice is going to not be too happy with that anyways guys thank you so much uh we had our first video hit not only 100 200 but 300 views in a single day which is crazy for me and uh we had the single highest subscriber jump um this channel's ever seen so thank you guys uh it's a little bit intimidating but i absolutely love it there is a um spicier version of this mp3 available my email will be down in the subscription uh, description if you are interested uh just send me a little ring ting ding dong and uh we can um see about getting it over to you guys thank you guys again um if there's any special requests that you guys want for this channel let me know um got a couple other channel requests that are coming up i'm making a list now we're up to five so let's continue with 100 days of 100 role plays see you guys later bye